Hey guys, my name is Serapis98, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Uh, today, we are going to be uh, sort of a mod review, but at the same time, like an intro to a new series that I'm thinking about doing. So, uh, without further ado, let's start this up. Let me just delete this real quick. Anyway, uh, we're going to do the Better World Generator. Generation mod. Uh, generation three mod. There you go. There you go. Now, what this mod does is it adds in a whole bunch of new map types for um for the game. Like uh, let's go to world types. There's the super flat, large biomes. Uh, that's uh one that's normally in the game. But then after this. There's beta, which it gives you the world generation that you used to get back in Minecraft, like the beta, and uh, the beta is when a lot of people start playing Minecraft, so, uh, and I know a lot of people liked the uh, beta world generation better than they do uh, the full version uh, world generation, me being one of them, so, next you got alpha, if you start playing in alpha, then you would know what this is. I personally started playing in beta, so I have no idea what the alpha terrain generation is. I, I'm pretty sure it's pretty basic, but I don't know. We'll check that out. Also, there is Survival Island. Uh, your typical Survival Island. I'll show you guys that in a minute. There's Survival Skyland. Now, this one is awesome. I, I, I'll get to this later when I actually show it. The Sky Dimension as well. The, they're basically the same thing. There's just one minor difference and last is the cave dimension now this one is what I'm going to be doing a series on most likely it looks really fun uh, I started up a world that world that I deleted was actually a cave world so first we're gonna start out with the default now I'm not even gonna name the rest of the, these worlds but um so default this it's the regular world that you spawn in except it's just generated differently like um it looks different, like, uh, the mountains and stuff, they look nice, like, uh, here's a ravine right here, but then, it's just, it's different, it's hard to explain, there's some ostriches from mode creatures, one cool thing it adds in, different water colors, like, uh, this color here, adds in different colored grass, it changes, changes up the textures a little bit, um, cause I'm not using any texture packs, I can't even show you guys, but I'm not using any texture packs. Um, and, uh, yeah. That's about it for default. Also, if I could find a village, that would be really cool. I would show you guys village. But, I don't... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to find a village. I can search for a few minutes while I talk. I don't know what to talk about. Hmm, let's see. Yeah, the presidential election is going on right now. As of right now... Uh, Governor Mitt Romney is winning. Uh, he has more votes because uh, the popular vote, which is the uh, the vote of the people, does not count. Like uh, it directly doesn't count. Like um, if you go to the uh, the ballot and you know you vote whatever, it does not directly impact who's going to be president. So people going and voting, I mean it. Now, it doesn't directly impact it, but what happens is, if there's a tie, what happens, oh, I forgot to turn on music, what happens is if there's a tie in the, in a state, that's when the popular vote comes into, uh, comes in, uh, the popular vote doesn't matter, uh, basically what matters is the electoral college, it, I'm not gonna get, like, all into this, cause I don't really feel like searching for that much longer, but anyway, that's just basically what it is. And, I mean, your vote is basically a suggestion, alright? Just just a heads up, because most people don't know that. I learned that not that long ago. Uh, I'm not finding a village anytime soon, it doesn't look like, but cool stuff like this river, I don't know if this is different, Like, but this river curves around like that. I think this is extremely cool. Stuff like this, you know. Yeah, stuff like that. 
Uh, so let me save and quit. You know, it doesn't really matter. Uh, delete this. Create new world. Creative move. Now, next we're going to be doing beta. Create new world. The this brings me back to the old days of when I used to play Minecraft. You know, beta 1.8. That's when I started playing. That's when a lot of people started playing. That was like one of the major updates in the game. So here it is. You know, you get your big open, you know, tundras and John, whatever. Then, you know, if you go back this way, just give me one second, please. If you go back this way, you get, you know, like little mountains, like little valleys like this, I remember always being there. Um, there's a lot less trees, but probably because this is a savanna and not a, you know, forest, whatever. Whatever, it doesn't matter. But one thing that this does eliminate is uh, jungles. If you're tired of jungles, like I kind of am. Like, when they first came out, they were cool, but now they're just, like, there's too many of them. Also, gravel beaches like these, you know. It calls it the shrublands, but I think this is this, like, the plains. Like, this is cool spots like this. Like, I would build a house right here, you know, have my little pool right here, my little lake, whatever. I, I would always do stuff like this in beta. I, would, I love doing this. Um... Not really much else that I'm gonna show off here. You know the you know the deal. Um, delete this. Create new world. Creative. Alpha. Time to move on to alpha. I'm gonna really uh, zoom by on these because these ones don't really matter. I mean they. Oh, I did not mean to say that. I love alpha generation. What I mean by they don't really matter is I was trying to look for like a village in the default and that's why I spent so much time on that one I'm not gonna say oh that scared me anyway I'm not gonna spend nearly as much time on anything else alpha there's a lot of floating stuff like as you can see right here it's basically floating then you know you got your your amazing colors like the grass and the trees it just brings me back to the old days of Minecraft when I never used to play the game because <laughs> I didn't play in alpha I mean you know you get your little floating islands like this I mean the floating islands occasionally happen in default, but they really removed it when uh, the full version came out. So this is your little uh, preview of this. Save and quit. Next are the completely new generation. Oh, almost forgot to do one thing. Creative. That helps a lot. Anyway, the survival island. Now, you guys, if you've played Minecraft long enough, you know what Survival Island is. You've seen your favorite YouTubers play Survival Islands, where you know you get the chest of whatever. This one seems to be crap. There's no trees here, which kind of sucks. But, oh, there's the sapling. So there you go, that's close enough. So you get little stuff like this, but then, you know, as far as you can go, there's no other islands around. So, you know, if you want to, if you're looking for a cool let's play to do, or you're looking for, you know, just a cool world to play, those are always options. Next, you have the Survival Skylands. Now, Survival Skylands, as you can uh, guess by the title, of course, you know, you're in the sky, and the Skylands part. I mean, the survival part is if I could get to the edge. I believe this one is all one landmass. Yes, this one is all one big landmass, like this. So the survival skylands is one gigantic landmass. Like, you can literally go off the sides. What's cool about this one, you might consider cheating, is you can go off the sides and you're like, you know, hey, diamond, right up here, you know. And you know, you got your one, two, three, four, five, six diamonds right there. See, six diamonds. That's cool, you know? Um, yeah, this one's really cool. Uh, delete that world. And I believe this is, no, this is not the last one. This is the second to last one, the Sky Dimension. Sky Dimension is a bunch of islands that are separated. Uh, let me show you an example. Being right here, this island right here, and this one right here. 
you can see they are not connected at all and yeah so these are like three little islands right here I'm sure there's more like if I go that way but just for the sake of time I'm going to show you the one that I am going to be doing my let's play in nah, blah, 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 and the final one is cave dimension this one is so cool uh, loading the world whatever just load up already come on man load up it takes a while to build the train because as you can guess you are in a cave but it's not just any cave you've got your trees you've got mushrooms that are everywhere because you know it's in the complete darkness you, plus you've got awesome generation floating islands like this here you know and don't try to escape it's not gonna work because as you can see the ceilings may have stone not convincing enough for you you dig up and eventually bedrock so once you get to the top there's bedrock if you break through the bedrock if you're in creative mode it brings you to the top which is really cool because they got little lava lakes and stuff it's, you know cool little stuff like this but that's about it for this mod I just wanted to show you guys this mod because I think this is a really cool I'm going to start using this mod um, this is for forge or mod loader actually you don't even need mod loader but this is for minecraft forge or for just uh, vanilla minecraft with the optional mod loader because if you have mod loader then uh, you can use it there will be a download link in the description there is um, on the uh, website there is links of like there's pictures of all the biomes except for the cave biome so that's about it for this um, mod showcase if you guys enjoyed this please tell me and I'll do some more of these uh, Minecraft does barrels haha <laughs> anyway that's about it for now I'm gonna get started on my series and I'll talk to you guys later bye